So this is the second experiment in the uh, light and sound unit, and it's called Let's Reflect. And what you're going to need is a flashlight, a mirror, and an index card. And what you're going to do is you're also going to put them on binder clips so that they can stand up. Now you have your mirror and your flash, or your mirror and your index card in a V shape, and your flashlight is off to the side. And what you're going to do once you have them set up is you're going to turn your flashlight on. It's going to reflect off the mirror and it's going to reflect on to the blue index card. When you give the kids the observation page, there's going to be a chart and they have to rank the objects of what they think is going to have the best reflection and what's going to have the worst reflection. And you're going to use tin foil and then colored sheets of paper. Now it's always important to have the tin foil, a yellow sheet of paper, a white sheet of paper, and a black sheet of paper. Most of the kids are going to say that they think tin foil is going to be the best reflector. However, at the end of the experiment, you're going to find out which one is really the best reflector. So what you do is you're going to use this index card as your screen, and you're going to take the different colors of paper, and you're going to put them in front. And you will see that the tin foil does have a reflection, but it bends the light into a whole bunch of different spots. Therefore, it's not really a great reflector at all. Then you're going to take some of the other colors, white for example, and you're going to put it in, and as you can see, it's pretty shiny. You're going to take the next color, yellow, and again, you can see the same thing. Then you're going to use probably a darker color like black, and you're going to see it's a little bit duller than some of the other bright colors. The green, again, it's going to be a little bit brighter, but it's not as bright as it was on the yellow and the white. And then, for example, I have here, my last piece is orange. And again, because it's a lighter color, you're going to get a little bit better of a reflection. The kids are then going to go ahead and find out that black and tinfoil are the actual two worst reflectors, and white and yellow are. The final question on the observation page is, why do we paint black roads with yellow and white? And the reason why is because they're the best reflectors, as you just saw here in the experiment.